Um, I started out as uh, uh, growing up on a family farm in Hertfordshire and went on to read a degree in agriculture at Reading University, intent on a career in agriculture at that stage. Um, I got slightly sidetracked by catching a bug for flying though and applied for the RAF um, as a pilot and was lucky enough to get in and served for 16 years flying Harriers um, and instructing on the Harrier and the Hawk. Um, during that time I continued uh, to be actively involved in the family farm including managing it for a nine year period also. Um, and I started to look at ways to try and bring my two loves together of farming and flying. I was an electronic warfare instructor in the Air Force, uh, which involved looking into the electromagnetic spectrum to find objects of interest that couldn't be seen visually. Um, and I thought perhaps that was the way to, to be able to bring that technology to bear to look at vegetation and to be able to see um, emerging stress conditions perhaps before we could see them visually. Um, having linked with the research community at Cranfield University, I found indeed that there was emerging technology and some very long-standing techniques that could do just that. But the reason that this technology hadn't found application in agriculture was a high cost. Um, and the main portion of that cost was the aviation element. So having left the Air Force and gained some aviation business experience, I decided to um, have a go at putting together a low enough cost aviation model using a very light aircraft um, to interrupt the normal high costs of multi-engine heavy aircraft or helicopters so that I could put this technology over agricultural crops at a low enough cost um, to allow um, an inroad into an industry that survives on very low margins. This is obviously a new concept and hopefully it's going to enable us to cover a lot more hectares um, so that we can do more work with less people. This is helping to increase our efficiency of covering the ground for our growers. Early days yet but the idea is to hope to get uh, crop establishment which leads to uh, water usage, uh, nutrients, uh, chemical management and by ground truthing the photographs that we get uh, from the phot aerial photography, this hopefully will lead to added benefits as well. It'll enable growers to see more of their crop more often. Uh, currently, they walk in the field and 20, 30, 40 hectare field, you can only see a snapshot of it. Whereas with this aerial photography, it'll enable you to see the whole lot on a regular basis. Innovation is an important part of everything that we do. Growing crops is not getting any easier. What with big pitch challenges such as climate change uh, and resource use efficiency, all of these things mean that we need to get better at everything that we're doing and enhance our attention to detail. Uh, one of the things that really attracts us to this project is being able to utilise remote sensing within the field. Uh, that's an area where we've tried and explored a few options in the past and challenged challenge ourselves to kind of see ways of doing things better um, and again with those projects we've looked at challenges around the kind of cost of doing it, understanding how we can provide a lowest cost solution uh, around the kind of availability of data and information, seeing how we can get that data flow going and coming onto farms so that we can make decisions more quickly um, and then also the accuracy of that data um, and seeing what we can uh, kind of understand from the information and data that's coming down from those remote sensing platforms so that we can kind of get greater insights into crop that we've ever seen before.